And just like that, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. We're gonna do something a little bit different. This is the Gun Safe Review channel. That's what we're known for, right? Well, how about we do the vault door section that we also offer? That just seems to make sense. This is the Liberty Beast vault door. And I'm gonna tell you all about it. Stay to the end so you get all the details. Let's get into the video. That's right, vault doors. We get a lot of questions about them and believe it or not, even here in the South, Texas, we actually install quite a few of these. Um, people are building and changing and uh, or adding rooms onto the existing home and so they're finding ways to use them. So again, just kind of makes sense that we make a video on one since we sell so many of them, that's what you're looking for. So the beast from Liberty Safe is one of two. So I'm sure we'll make a video on the other one eventually, but we like to start our videos with a little game we like to call, What Do You See In Front Of You? It's my game show music. I really hope you played it. All right, so like a freaking. Here we go. So I usually start with dimensions. So in this particular case, we will start by telling you that this thing is 86 inches tall. Yes, it's sitting on a platform, so it's sitting really high right now, but it's 86 inches tall. Um, it is 44 and a half inches wide. So shortly we'll talk about, you know, depth and all that stuff. We'll get into what that matters most. But so what you see in front of you in this particular case is the high gloss Forest Miss paint job. This is a fan favorite here at the A1ADU family. We all really, hopefully, since we shoot in 4K, you'll really get a, a, an eye at this color. This is a, a green and gray mixture, is the best way I know how to describe it. And it's phenomenal. Uh, there are about 12 other different finishes you can pick in this. So with the Forest Miss high gloss paint job, the five spoke handle is in black chrome and that uh, that's a standard feature the black pull handle is black on all models that's a standard feature over there the big monster handle to uh, pull and push the door to and then of course you see here we've got a black chrome secure ram pro logic keypad and as far as locks go yes you can have it any way you want it mechanical or keypad so whatever works for you in that instance so it starts with what you see in front of you, but you don't know you're looking at it, is this frame that goes around the door is a uh, seven gauge steel, which in the safe world, gun safe world especially, that's really thick, that's really heavy duty. But let's take it a step further and Liberty adds a quarter inch thick steel inner plate behind that, pretty good. The door is constructed of a 12 gauge steel, which is a little bit lighter. Um, I think they're doing that to watch the weight of that door, but there's still also that quarter inch thick inner steel plate. So you've got a pretty thick door at that. There's a, a, a hardened steel plate for drilling purposes behind the lock directly, and it has ball bearings all inside of it. So imagine that your spinning drill bit catches a ball bearing and they just start to spin off of each other. You don't penetrate, you just spin. So you've got that going for you. Plus you still have the external relocker which is, for those who don't know, if I was to hit this with my sledgehammer and try to knock the lock off thinking I'll just defeat it that way, if I knock it off, then everything be out of the way. Well, there's basically a booby trap and that is called an external relocker. It's a three and a half inch long, half inch thick piece of steel and it's held up by a spring. So when I go to beating on it, that locks down and it locks in a way into the mechanism that actually turns. So you're pretty well locked out. They're made in Utah. The steel is from uh, a, a Northeast company as well. So what you're looking at is pretty American made. The next thing we were gonna talk about was, I'm all over the map, because again, I'm trying to stay in order. Probably bolts. All right, so imagine, and we'll be able to show you this in B-roll, because I can't do it right now. Imagine that there are bolts that go in and out, yeah? And so there are 18 of those on this door. They are, four inches wide, and they are each half inch thick steel. Liberty refers to it as their solid state locking bars. 
And it's simply because like, let's say all the bars on this side, as they move in and out, it's actually one piece of steel. So it's like a giant comb, if you'll imagine. Going in and out, that's all one piece of half inch thick steel that has to bend or move if somebody was attempting to pry into this, which is probably gonna be very unsuccessful, to be honest with you. So I am curious what you think about it so far. Do you like it? Okay, thank you. One human that replied. Go ahead and hit that like button. All of you can do that though, right? Let's all like and subscribe. Let's do it together. Yes? Follow, notifications, keep going, I will. There is a fire rating to it. Now, it is fire rated and it's tested, and essentially it's pretty simple, right? They're testing how much heat resistance do they get from the inside of the door while they're testing the outside of the door. So how well it's also gonna perform has a lot to do with your building, your structure, and what you're installing this onto. So keep that in mind, okay? So for the fire rating, we'll go ahead and talk about it. We'll show a little graph just so I can tell you show you rather a little bit more of how it's uh, fire rated. That thing's huge, isn't it? I just saw it in the reflection, it's really big. All right, let's turn the lights off. We'll do the graph, here we go. All right, so it is rated for what? Two and a half hours um, at 1200 degrees. So imagine there's a fire, right? And it's getting hotter and hotter and hotter and hotter and hotter. And it finally gets up and it's 1200 degrees now outside of the door. And let's say it stays consistently that hot for two and a half hours. What we're being told is essentially that anything on the other side of the door would stay 350 degrees or cooler. Again, that has everything to do with your structure. Keep that in mind, okay? Lights. So that's pretty cool that it comes that way. Uh, let's talk about the door a little bit now, a little bit more rather, because that's what it is. It's a door, right? So this particular one that we put in front of you to look at is an in-swing. Very specifically, it's an in-swing right hand, which means the door is swinging into the room and the hinges are on the uh, right. I am super paranoid about opening this, to be honest with you, on this. Even though they ship it on this and I deliver it off of this and I'm still super paranoid, okay? So now you can see my bolt work that we were talking about. And again, I'm sure he's got B-roll or whatever. But we've got the bolt work that goes around. So I've got a 90 degree, it's awkward, hold on. Huh? I've got a 90 degree uh, opening here with an in-swing door. And with that, as you saw, 511, 250 fit through there, but I've got about a 26 and a half inch opening at its narrowest point that I could go in and out of it. Again, if my chunky self made it through there at blazing speed, I might add. No, no. Uh, you can probably find very comfortable to walk in and out of this thing with little to no issue. Like that, like that, do it again. Now, the degree of turn and everything as far in uh, the 90 degree turn and the opening size, that actually changes when you go to an outswing. So we'll probably hold off, I don't wanna to go too deep in the woods, but feel free to jump down in the comment section and ask me all the questions you want to and I'll answer them. I don't wanna to go too deep in the video for somebody who just sees this platform, likes it, maybe makes a call or makes a purchase obviously, but the door would obviously swing 180 on an outswing door. And I want to say, I'm going to lie to you, it's a 32 inch opening um, when we have the outswing, because obviously the hinges are orientated different, so we get a different swing, right? So with that, oh, uh, can you see it? Yes. Hopefully you can get this with the camera from the other side. There is a Palusol strip that goes all the way around the inside of this door jam and back to fire. Palusol, again, we talk about it all the time with the gun safe world. It's a material that will expand about seven times its natural size during a fire. So as it starts heating up 217, 257, that's when that expansion goes all out and gets that. And it's great because it's key keeping a tighter uh, seal between this outside door jam and the door that's touching it, right? So we're closing off that gap from heat and smoke and uh, soot, things that are flying around during a fire. So that's really something to look out for too. So again, it is an in-swing. There is an out-swing available. This is a right-hand hinge. There is a left hand and there's no price changes for that. So if I went out, out swing left hand or right hand or whatever, the price doesn't vary for that, which is cool. So you've got your options how you want to do it. This is the most popular choice uh, for us. So nervous because when I'm talking to people, I, I throw it out to them. It's like, okay, well, what's the big plan here? You know, is this just your gun room or is this your tornado shelter? What is it? What are we talking about? Is it a panic room? I'll get into that more in a second because 
if a tree falls right here and the door swings out, right? So in swing has become far and away the most popular option. Now again, if we have enough steel and we have enough bolts and everything, well then it's gonna keep us secure if it was something like a panic room or anything else. And obviously it's gonna keep anybody from getting uh, to the gun room if that's where we decide to make it, okay? Um, it does have on the inside, and he's gonna have to B-roll while I talk because you just can't see it, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna spin it around, I'm too nervous. It has a three spoke handle in the middle of the door on the inside. And that three spoke handle is an internal release. So that if you close and shut the door, let's keep it close so you can keep an eye on this big, beautiful thing. So if I'm in the inside and the door is shut, um, uh, I can grab the three spoke handle, pull out gently and rotate. And so even if I don't have the code from the inside, well, it doesn't matter that way you can still get out if necessary on an emergency or anything else. So, it's gear driven. I should probably point that out. Gears are nice. So you can turn that from the inside. Now there's also, again, if you wanted to, I was gonna say double, but I guess it'd be triple by now, right? Cause I said gun room and I said tornado shelter and then panic room, huh? So if you want to triple up, there is an internal lever release, okay? So what that lever does essentially that again, if this is my panic room and I've told my family, hey, I'm not home, you hear something, you get in the room, call the cops. They can go in there, shut the door, spin the handle, the three spoke handle from the inside, the door's locked. Okay, well, what if somebody knew that code? They could still walk up and enter that code. Well, with that lever release on the inside, I can flip that. And even if you have the code from the outside, it doesn't open. So you do have that going for you if this is gonna be a panic room option for you. So that's something really cool. Um, threshold, because I, I know you people. I, I know, I'm catching on. So a threshold here, it measures out like uh, 1.875, what is that? Uh, inch and seven eighths, I guess. So from the, there's a mild step to get into it, is what I'm saying, so keep that in mind. It is sitting up a little bit, as you can see, but this is the bottom. So the bottom of the outside jam, as you see it, that's the bottom, but we do have that threshold to step up into a little bit. This guy is 1,245 pounds. So that's why it's the beast. Um, do it again. Give me the echo this time. It's the beast. Pretty good. Um, again, we'll, we'll do a video on the other door. It's essentially, it's about half that weight, to be honest with you. So it's more economical, people like to call it, but this is for a pretty good install, pretty one and done. I mean, if you think about how much you can spend on some of these monster shapes that we bring you guys, um, that's pretty good because this thing starts at about $85.99. And this particular version that you see with the high loss and the electronic lock jumps up, that's about $97.99. Really paranoid. So here's the starting price. And here is the price you see in front of you for this one. <laughs> see that? It's movie magic. Um, that's probably about it, honestly. Uh, but again, there's more detailed questions, I understand, or somebody's looking for other answers and questions. Comment section, get in there, go check out our channel. You'll notice that the scientists and I, we answer pretty much everything. Uh, everything that needs to be answered, we're gonna try to help out. So, but again, if you find this uh, entertaining, uh, if you find it uh, educational, by all means, uh, like and subscribe, follow along, notification bell so you know when a new video presents itself. Go check out the channel for tons of other content that we've got up for you guys. Robert, Mad Scientist, Friendly Neighborhood Locksmiths. We are the A1EDU and we will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching guys.